Welcome back to one of our NBA 2K21s. It's Son of Beast here. And we have officially finished the Dallas Mavericks versus the Nets. While we just skipped a couple of games. And yeah, that was the one thing that I just totally remembered. I totally forgot about. Well, now you know more than ever. We have some new changes this time. As James Harden has signed his contract for the for the Nets, from the Rockets. And for right now, for the Rockets, it looks like they got Victor Oladipo from the Pacers. Not to uh, not to mention it earlier before, we all, they also got John Wall that settles things up. But that's more than ever. Victor Oladipo has been traded to, has been signed his contract to the Rockets after the Pacers had made a couple changes here. Right now, playing playing on the Pacers is Karis LeVert from the Brooklyn Nets. That's more that we are just seeing things before, but we have no longer seeing Victor Oladipo and the Pacers section. How, 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 how sad is to say. So right now, we are about to see the next. Uh, we're about to see the next contestant going on for a face-to-face -face matchup. For today's matchup, it's the it's the Charlotte Hornets versus the Indiana Pacers. More than ever, we got we definitely do not have Miles Bridges, and I have no idea where he's at right now. So we got no choice what we are looking for. PJ Washington is on here, right there, and that's what the uh, cover is looking about. So right now, here are the starting lineups as we are going through. We have is Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier III, Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington, and Bismack Bayambo. As I've just saying before, Bayambo is not quite not quite the better one I was looking for. But it seems like I have nothing to hear about the about the Hornets team. If they're doing it really well to keep it going. Right at the time, just not enough to go through. And for the Pacers section, we have this McCollum Brogdon, Karis Levert, Justin Holiday, Demanta Sabonis, and Miles Turner. For right now and on instantly, I'll just go ahead and play as Indiana Pacers, since we know that Victor Oladipo is not here anymore. But the next episode is Angie Thomas. You can check that one out on NBA 2K TV. Here to Neighborhood Events coming up. That we just made a pass, but it's never a uh, but it's another 2K uh, priority going from here. Which upcoming 2K compete event will you be participating in? Click which one if you like to participate in each part. Now you don't have to include anything else. And in the, and in the uh, rest of the lineup we have is Miles Bridges, Lauren, Lauren Ball, Martin, like two of them, McDaniel's. And on the other hand, we have his McDermott, PJ McConnell, TJ McConnell, Jay Samson, Aaron Holiday, Eric Summer, Liku, Martin, and Stanley. Most importantly, Miles Bridges was underneath the starting lineups. He wasn't able to come in at that point. We still have him here, but, but Martin Brid but, uh, Miles Bridges was a little bit on top right now. Yeah. That will be a substitution to play here for just enough to get their fancy to do a lot more um, lot more game in the other way. Now let's check out the Hornets lineup. That's it. Bismarck Rambo. PJ Washington. Point forward, should say. At, at the point guard, Devontae Graham. At a shooting guard, Terry Rozier deferred. And from small forward, Gordon Hayward. I want to make sure the camera is just a little bit right here. Right there. I forgot what the head coach is for the Hornets, but that is James Borrego. You may not know him, but I don't know. And now it's time for your home, Indiana Pacers! Your lineup starts here. 
Small forward. Six foot six inches. Number eight, Justin Holiday. Three, Miles Turner. Shooting guard. Six foot six inches. Number twenty-three. Cars, Lover! At the only score of position is six foot five. Number seven, McCom Brogdon. In position, six feet inches. Number 11, Domantas Sabonis. And your head coach from the Indiana Pacers. Nate for Jerkin. Looks like we are ready to get things going right now. Let's get this started. After the lineup is officially over, the Hornets made the first. They made the. Uh, they have won the tip off, and it looks like the Hornets are back away right now since we haven't seen them playing in the away games. After home games this the season, the, the Hornets made a loss against the Bulls. In the last season, and the Pacers lost their their uh, the away game against the uh, Magic. After Aaron Gordon and his teammates made the uh, made a, a fantastic win at this point. Here's the commentators: Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and and Bola. I I'm not I'm not sure if this is the only way I was looking for. But anyway, here we go. Wow, what a nice solid here for Brogdon. The first one with the layup. So we have some couple pointers for the Hornets and Pacers. And that would be the home for 2021 NBA All-Star for the Pacers. But, uh, but the officials are saying that the 2021 All-Star NBA has canceled because of, uh, because of health issues. Many players has to get has to get as tests as, as gives him a test. And Rogier has made a steal. Graham with the three. Open look. Assist by Hayward. You guys remember Hayward. He's played for the Boston Celtics the last season. But this season he's now playing with the with the with the Hornets. Moving over to Sabonis. Trying to reach it, but it didn't work. Charlotte, am I going to write? Am I, am I looking at it right? We got Terry Rozier with the dunk. Since by Hayward. And there's, there's number three for Terry Rozier. The third, that's what we are looking for. Sabonis making a screen. First shot for Levert is good. That will be his first two pointer of the game. And we got we got one and now they're trailing by one at that point. Three pointer. Graham did it again. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. Under 430 right now. Here's Brogdon. Just playing really well there. But they they forgot about TJ Warren. And definitely. Um, Jerry Lamb, probably, maybe so. Brogdon hands it over to Levert. Levert up, rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis grabs up, uses the glass board to touch it and bank it in. Four minutes to play. Just enough to get there through. Graham now passes to Hayward. It looks like a, like I just said, it was the home for 2021 NBA All Star for um, for the Pacers, but the officials are saying that they are have canceled because they won't be participating until next year in 2022. Because that's what I just mentioned it before. The uh, the All Star games might be turning it out badly, and because of COVID-19, we will never see each player going head to head and also hit health issues. Once again, no fans allowed here in the arena because of COVID. Turner no good. Only 3.10 left. 
Wronging again. Hayward up. The second shot of the game is good. First time out called by Indiana. As they are going to talk things over to uh, to make the uh, to shift on offense to go for another look. So the clock is stopped at like 3:02 left. Boomer, I'm not sure who that name is. Here's DA. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Borrego and I got a chance to talk for a bit. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Yeah, David, thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you, David. Really appreciate about, about what they are looking for. But it might be enough hard enough to go through. Not just the match there, we are saying. New changes here for the Pacers and for the Hornets. Five players are coming out. McDaniels, Bridges, Martins, two Martins, and Ball or she are back on the court. All five players are subbed out. Sabonis switches it over to the center. Martin going around. First pointer for Martin is good. He's got his first bucket of the night. Drafted this year. Drafted, he was he was drafted last year in the first first round. And we got a first pointer in the other hand. Not sure who that is, but the Hornets made a loss against the Toronto Raptors. So as I've just said before, Hornets just lost against the the, uh, the Bulls in season four. The same thing that goes with the Pacers, but they lost against the uh, against the uh, against the Magic. And we got a first pointer here. That is TJ McConnell with the first two pointer. Wasn't able to play back with the pace with the, with the Sixers, but that's how it goes. First, first dunk look, and we have another one. Four play, four points on this game. Oh, Sabonis wants to put a screen, but he did not. He takes one hand and he puts it in. Great play for Sabonis after assist by McConnell. Now here's Martin. Goes over the ball. Oh, he almost put an ankle up here. He lays a reverse first pointer of the game. McConnell going back the other way. McDermott looking around. McConnell, bounce pass to Sabonis. McConnell for three. Wide open look, and that is good. First three pointer for McConnell as he picks it up 20 to 17, under one minute. We always see Ball quite, quite a lot as I looked at on Instagram. He's playing out there really well. Not, I don't have any comments on him, but he's doing really well on that shot. First call is going to be on TJ McConnell. First personal foul on Indiana Pacers. Stop the clock at 46.8. Now, uh, now Lauren Ball is going to shoot two. We'll be shooting two. Should have said that before. Clark Kellogg. I forgot what the commentator is, but it looks like I might be right. Here are some new changes for Indiana. Summer and Martin are checked out. Holiday, Aaron Holiday, and Samson are checked in. Let's not forget about, the, let's not get confused with one of each Martins already because we got only got two. They're brothers, 10 and 11. Ball hits them both. Ball has hit both of them. Now it's McConnell going back the other way, just 43 seconds to play. McConnell to Savonis. To he moves over to Aaron Holiday. Aaron Holiday, here he comes. Nice play. That's the first pointer for Aaron Holiday without Victor Oladipo. Ball against McConnell. He passes to McDavis. Sabonis takes a steal. Here we go. Two on one. He takes a reverse layup. No foul called on the Hornets. 
Great play here for McConnell. After Sabonis making the assist. Only got 10 seconds. Might need to stop the clock going here. Martin outside. Will there be two? No, it will not. And that's the end of the first quarter. No half court shot. Tough look. Yeah. Yeah, nobody has made one in. But the back and forth play was just turning to be close. 22 to 21 is your score in the first quarter. We'll be back in the second. And a mascot is on the court. You know what we are saying? Because uh, we got the um, mascots on the side. They might be here. The Boomer, mascot of the uh, of the Indiana Pacers. Really um, comes to the game without the fans, but yeah. Stays six feet. You know, every time you see the uh, mascot, let me know about that. Because our home team doesn't have mascots. The New, the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. McDermott moving over to Holiday. Oh, almost putting up on Martin. Oh, and Aaron Holiday didn't even get the miss. Didn't even make a shot. Pass over to Bridges. That hair I was looking at. What happened? McDaniels up. The rebound goes up by Turner. And it's McConnell with the rebound. Aaron Holiday just looking around like at that point, like he has nowhere to go right now. And I said, I need some help right over here. I gotta get some, somebody open. Can you help me out? Well, that's what we need to look for. McDermott trying to make a shot. Missed it off. And it's Bridges with the rebound. Lauren Ball over alley oop and unsuccessful here. McConnell takes it over. Aaron Sampson picks it up one hand dunk, assist by Miles Turner. First pointer for Sampson. First timeout call is Charlotte Hornets. They stop the clock at 537 to go. Just 23 to 22 right now on the board. Yeah, yeah, well, I'd like to say thank you for your patience for this game. I, I'm not sure why why I was picking other games I had. Dallas Mavericks versus the Nets. Maybe maybe I should wait a little bit more, but I, but I have no patience to say about this. I wanted to go for another game. So in that case, I was not picking out successfully. It didn't, uh, it didn't help me follow along. Right now, um, I will... Um, McDermott, I'm moving, I'm switch changing him. Now I gotta get that. Now I have to go patient on with an offense. Some changes for Some Indiana. By Elmo. With Gordon Hayward. Graham. Graham. Graham with the bucket. They, are, they lead up by one. Field goals for this percentage, 67 to 65, just close. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you, Greg. I think clearly that's his strong suit right now. He's got a terrific shot in terms of mechanics. Thanks to McDermott with the screen. And it looks like Brogdon has got another point. Now they're going back to back, 25 to 24. Playing for just five minutes. And foul calls on Turner. Without the block. Oh, no. Not close enough here. Not picking up the right timing. P.J. Washington will go to the line to shoot two. That would have been more more tougher than I, than I had. Not just enough to go through, through the game. Turner with the first foul on Indiana Pacers. Here's two shots for Washington. Come on, make it loud. Washington makes a first furry throw. Just got it even, but wants to give it a shot. Wants to make a shot to go in the lead. 
breach the floor and situations well, and then he executes. He's got a lot of. He made it for one, and they lead it up by one. He's a value utility guy who can make plays. They're gonna try to go up from just two if they can go for it again. I need some help over here, offense. Back to Brogdon. Brogdon for the two. And a three-pointer on McBrog McComb Brogdon. I thought he stepped on the line. We would have challenged that play. If it's a three-pointer or two. I don't know if it's a if it's a right call. Well, not sure if this is going to happen. Washington just made a tie. 420 to left play. Brogdon going back in the other way. Drew Holiday looking around already on the court. Outside Holiday. He changes here. Back to Brogdon. Brogdon in a three. In the other hand makes a shot. Under four minutes here. Great pass assist by Drew Holiday. Do I not know how many assists he had? Hayward going along the corner. Hayward just going for a layup and he makes a drive. Hayward's got six. Hayward has got six points in the game. 335 to go. Brogdon almost took it up, but it's Washington with the with the, just the rebound. Rogier just come up short. They turn it to Holiday. Drew Holiday to Brogdon. Oh, the screen was missed. Turner making a shot, assist by Brogdon. He's got the lead up to three. Four points on the board. That's the Rogier. Hayward on outside of the middle. And it's Washington with the screen. Goes up with the shot. And it's rebounded by McBrogdon once again. They're just pulling things right in and out again. I'm seeing that Brogdon is getting good at this out the court. Come on, motion. Five on the clock. To the step back. Rebounded by Brogdon. Oh, he just showed up in time. What a shot here for Brogdon. And now it's a timeout called by the Hornets. Stop the clock at 218, 35 to 30. Just really played out there great. We might need a little bit more of uh, more effort here on the court. We gotta get there with more pressure out there, point. We gotta limit it up. We gotta keep going. Can't just stand like that. Let's try some play for so we can get that better. Levert should go up again. If this happens, we'll. Pick and roll should go for it. Just audio. And Indiana making a change here. Indiana again making changes. And here's a chance look at Doug McDermott. This season, the last five games, it was 62%, 72%, and this season, 48% and 58%. Not quite good enough to play for as a rookie. Well, he could do better than more, but he wants to play. He has to keep going. Only 2.15 left to play. Graham just goes, moves along. 15 point on and in and out like ever before. A little piece, but it's a bonus with the first foul. Called on the uh, first personal foul on the Pacers. Stopped the clock at 2.05. Gregham just almost collapsed, but he looks like he did collapse. Maybe that was not the good. A uh, good idea to pick it up from a, in a break, defensive breakdown. Just too much to control at. Try to at least more pointer, but it didn't stand out. 
First one at the line is good. And now here comes Miles Bridges subbing out for subbing in for Biambo. That's Washington moves over to the center. And you think of Dane Lillard. But Graham, you know, he can stretch you out just as far as those guys can, and he does it with the same ease. So, but Terry Rozier. Last year really was one of the few bright spots for the Hornets. Only two made it for that time. So he makes them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the And now we head on down to two minutes. 35 to 32 left to play here. Levert in the drive. A dunk, and it goes in. Great play for Levert. Only four points. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Levert playing on the court after after the last season with the uh, with the Nets. But it was off the target, as I know. I already did that review. And here is Rozier. So moves up to Rozier. Free bams it in. You know when Rozier gets a look he likes for the three point shot. He'll knock it down on you. Yeah, watch, uh, watch out for Terry Rozier. He's eyeing on that three-pointer. Don't let him uh, take a shot on that. Brogdon, looking over. Quick isolation here. Come on. Back at the six. Levert coming in. Levert made a shot. No foul called on the Hornets. And they lead up by six. Oh, up again. Oh, just short. Sabonis would have got a piece of it. But it was up. But it was off. Turner lays it up in. And that is another point for Turner. Six points. That might be the assist on Drew Holiday. I'm sure. If, it, if, I'm, if I'm confident at that point. Personal foul going on uh, Sabonis, his second personal foul. Not a great, not a great play at that point. They really don't like it. Seven and eight attempt for uh, the Hornets without the Pacers going for the free throw. Gordon Hayward shooting two. That's something that I'm, uh, I'm very disappointed of. They know how important it is to fix that. Too much uh, desperate. Too much desperate for sure. That's all I count. Free throw drops for Hayward. Roy just comes out. New changes on the court. Two more ends and ball. And Bridges switches over to uh, point forward. Not power forward. Point forward. Hayward, Hayward hit two. What an At that point. Only 30 seconds to play before the halftime comes up. Avoiding the D was Levert. A little heavy here, but he made it. Levert, number four, eight points. Gordon Hayward going back in and out again against the bonus. Ten seconds to play. Five seconds with the shot, and that's it. First half has come to a close, 43 to 37, but we will be back after the halftime show. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back right now for, for a game of Indiana Pacers and the Hornets at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Right now we are showing no stoppage at this point as we are looking forward Alan McCall Brogdon. Just a little bit uh, just a little bit comfortable on the court. Only 12 points, two rebounds, four assists. Nice work. It looks like a Sabonis was gonna able to keep an eye on that. And watch out because uh, because one of the players on deep on offense on the Hornets may get their open shots. So Indiana, Indiana lead by six. McCall Brogdon finishes the first layup call. 14 points. Hey, Summer, come on, man. Graham, way open, but it's missed. Turner going back the other way. Y'all lost the ball. Oh, it's Biombo with the steal. Rebound. Changes. 
We got a dunk here on Washington. Assist by Terry Rozier the third, number three. And that's what I that's what I usually call the third, number three. Turner comes in for a screen. And that's what is this? Let's try that one again. Sabonis and Levert missing the three. Up and over, but a miss. Bayambo with the rebound, just another one. Oh, the steal is on, is on Brogdon. Turner! Finishes the dunk. Raised the roof, they wanted to hear to the crowd. That's eight points for Turner. Levert trying to put the cover on Terry. But Rogier had a shot in. Timeout's going to be gone. Timeout is on Pacers. Stop the clock at 526. 47 to 41 is your score. Now here are the upcoming games for the NBA 2K21 schedule. Of course, we are definitely about to see the Jazz versus the Pacers. Jazz versus the Washington Wizards. As they are as they are officially not picking up the great win at that point, it's just just too hard to come to concentrate through. It's not just easy. And then and then later we have is the Magic, Orlando Magic versus the Golden State Warriors. As the uh, as Steph Curry Stephen Curry just takes it on to Nick on um, Aaron Gordon. That's the one that I was just looking for right at that time. Keep an eye on the for the next game coming up. I will keep an eye on that one here too. New changes here for the Pacers. Don't want to keep putting up pressure. Miles Turner just got in the lead. Nicely done. Blocks in the game. That was the last 30 days. I was just seeing things before. Maybe I want to see the highlights about Miles Turner making blocks at that moment. I'd love to see that one here too. Aaron Holiday rolls over to Sabonis. Aaron Holiday going for three. Boom! Finishes a three. Assist by Sabonis. That's three assists for for for, for the Pacers of Sabonis. And now Hornets are calling timeout. Just five minutes left. Really tough in that one here last year, but I'm not even comfortable of seeing seeing what game I was looking at. Monster on the court? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna guess what, if I am if I am totally correct because it may be too off the target. Now I'm on the other side now. Let's go to two to three zone so we don't get confused on that one. New changes for the Hornets. NBA ranking the playoffs. A lot of turnovers here. And that's how you demoralize an opponent. Make Point off at that time, I mistake. don't know. And here's McDaniels. Off the mark here as Sabonis takes a rebound. New rebound here. 13 for the Pacers and 7 for the Hornets. Moving over to Lake Q. The Q. Oh, he finishes a dunk. Dude. Everyone's doing the same thing. Lot of, they're putting some, someone smashing on this rim. Looking so comfortable out there. Wow. A lot, lot of defender getting struggled again. Gr Graham. Only two. No good. Savonis coming back in the other lane. Now who's over to Lake Q. Sabonis misses the screen. Bounce pass to Turner. Six on the shot clock. Moves off. Lost the ball. And it's Hornets ball. Let's take, another look at Let's take a look at the blocks of the game. Once again. Determined to protect the lead the, with the uh, let's see what the uh, slow motion footage is. It was definitely Brogdon. Brogdon. 
that was a uh, well, that was a slow motion of the block that I did not see that was going to happen. Three minutes gone now, but that's the only game that was happening here so far without even concerning. Graham Bambo shots good. Perfectly making another another layup here at that point. Three fifty left. Sabonis picking up. Picking up another shifting pointer, but but his streaking was a little bit off the target here. Might be doing it again. Uses the glass board for Aaron Holiday. Seven points for Holiday. Only 3.30 to play here. Oh, and Turner got a block. Great play here for Turner. How many blocks does he have? Wow, that's crazy. Right now it's Aaron Holiday. Almost put a almost put an ankle breaking on Miles Bridges. The shot by Holiday is not not even on, not even on the center. Somebody has to cover here in the middle. Rozier three and a long range shot is good. Only another timeout called on the Pacers. Just, just I'm trying to go for another switch here on offense. Stop the clock at 2:51. Looks like nothing is, nothing is happening. All right, Turner, you're out. I will go ahead and, uh, I will go ahead and uh, sub in for on uh, McDermott. I will, uh, I will go ahead and uh, sub out Turner. Looks like I don't see. Uh, I do not see a uh, Sabonis in here. Wait, I don't see Sabonis in here. That's not. That's not right. I don't. Know, I don't know what's the cause here for Sabonis, but man, that, that did not help it anyway. All right, bringing back uh, Drew Holiday in. I'll sub out Turner, and I'll go ahead and uh, bring. Summer on the center. I don't have any changes to say about this. Let's take a look at uh, TJ McConnell. Only this season is not just enough to get there through. And he's very steady. Yeah. Well, just enough to get there. I'll, I'll, I'll officially care about that. Aaron Holiday. Whoop. Oh. Oh, Drew Holiday was almost gonna make it, yeah, but but somebody was taking taking the ball away. Bridges way off, but he had to recover without the alley oop on Lauren Ball. Bronzo Ball. Nice drive here for T.J. McConnell. Nicely done. Only nine points on the board. Hornets trail by eight. Ball feeling around a bit. Oh, hit the rim and it missed. 205 left. Samson picking up around the other way to Drew Holiday. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Try to go back around without going to three second violation call. Clearly, a lot of defense are picking up rebounds. How, why would they stop reaching like that? Looks like Martin is out of nowhere. Beats to Bridges. It's good. Four points for Bridges that far, and now we only got we got an almost tight neck on here. Trail by six. McConnell just changing things around. They are on holiday. Holiday dribbles it in, lays it up perfectly. Aaron Holiday got another point. That's nine points in the game. Bridges for three. That falls. Good to go on the call. Bridges has got seven points. They now trail by five. McConnell looking around the upper way. McConnell up, shooting foul will go on the first foul on ball. 
his first foul. Lomelo ball, picks one up. Lo Lomelo ball, Lomelo ball. Lauren ball, can't, I can't remember that. It's his first trip to the line. Now his first trip to the line will be TJ McConnell. Taking two shots, stop the clock at 40.1 seconds. Now they finally got a, re got a free throws this time without just calling the better, bad foul on them. As the Pacers are definitely waiting for the free throw, they had one in. We got new changes here. Four players are subbed out. Martin stays on the court. Bridges, Hayward, and Washington. And new changes here. Brogdon, Levert, McDermott, and Samson. And so, TJ McConnell delivers two. Only 11 points. Bridges with it. Bridges with the with the ball. Right around the corner, going around the back. Second chance and the rebound changing with Samson. Brogdon, oh my, wow! Brogdon is going out strong again. Without playing with Oladipo, you now know that Brogdon is keeping him going on the court. 16 points. That was crazy to see that play. I like him. 10 seconds before the fourth quarter. Final countdown. I'm kidding. That is it. We end the third quarter here. 62 to 59. I looks, looks like I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, let's see if I'm right with the scoreboard here. Well, they didn't they didn't show it on here, but we'll be back. Nope, 62 to 53 is your score. We'll be right back. Three quarters are complete. We are ready for the final quarter. And so here's Charlotte. Here's, here's Lomelo Ball, only playing just a little bit on the time right now. First time playing on the court. Hayward for the three. Nice shot and assist by Lomelo Ball will be a first one. The reason why they call Ball is because they, he knows why Ball was on here. Well, that's more considerately just enough to get there at that point. Lonzo Ball, Lomelo Ball, there's two of them, but you cannot tell which one is which. Two shots are coming up for Brogdon after the foul pokes up on P.J. Washington. First foul. A lot of foul going on the Hornets. And is an excellent teammate. Boy, what an asset he is to the Pacers. Hit. Here we go. Brogdon made the first free throw. 17 points. New changes for the Hornets. Martin and Ball are subbed out. Rochier deferred and Graham Graham are subbed in. Graham. If I pronounce Graham right, then that's gonna be that, that's gonna be a right name to say it. Brogdon made the ball. Always hard at work for his team. He's facilitating, communicating. Now we're going back now another way. Hayward pulls it the other way over to number three. Now they are down to five without wasting time. Brogdon, his shot's good. This shot is good. Miles Bridges. First personal foul, a lot of points in the paint going on for the Pacers. And now Turner will be subbed out with Samson and McDermott. New changes are coming in right now. So Summer is out, Sabonis so is checked in. And new changing guards will be Turner and McDermott. Mc might say that Brogdon is doing well on the court. 21 points. Just like um, Luka Doncic from the last game. He's been playing out hard and strong. 
Going for one. But here comes Bridge. Bridges makes a shot. Without the foul, put up on the Pacers. Six minutes to play, 67 to 61. Wait, let's try that again. Right side is a bonus. Six to go. Shots off. And it's Bridges with the steal. Graham with the finish. And it's Graham making a miss. And that could be that could be another uh, another heavy contest on the on Brogdon. Let's see if he does that again. Yep, he does it again. That's 23 points for Brogdon. He might be the player of the game when the next timeout is calling calling the rephrase. Graham just picking it up. Another three. No freeze yet for so far for Graham. A lot, a lot of missed contact of threes are on the Hornets, but it's Turner with a layup and drive. Just 10 points. That's it. I don't want to say the same thing again, like 10 points, 10 points. Graham passed to Hayward. Hayward coming in the paint. And we have loose ball foul on Bridges. Second personal foul on the Hornets. Now we have new changes. Biombo checking in for Washington. And as he switches over to point forward, and Bridges is off the court. Great successful run after a loss comes up against the Magic. The same thing. And once I'm just going to say... Pacers have made a loss against the Magics. Not quite good enough here. And the same thing that goes with the Hornets too. They lost against the Bulls. That ball turns out to be Levert. Just 10 points. 4.15 to go. Terry Rozier passing over to Graham. Hayward on the wing. Corner is good. Graham has just got another assist going on here. Just about four four minutes to play. Avoiding the D. Holding the ball, but it's tipped. Washington just made a steal. Running up the court, we have his Hayward. Dishes up to Graham. Double team helping. Rogier. Buries it across with the layup. Timeout called on the Pacers, 73 to 66. Stop the clock at 3:34 left. A lot of changing going on right now. Hornets are just kind of come back in to, to make a successful. It's all right. Brogdon is going to be checked out. Yeah, playing too hard on the court right now. Lequeu, I need to. I don't have any. I don't, I don't have. I have nothing to sell about you. Not yet. TJ McConnell is subbed in. I will do. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, take out Levert. And uh, yeah, let's let's bring Summer back in. And McDermott too, as Martin will be in. And finally, uh, yeah, you know what? I said I decided to make all changes at this point. I'm not comfortable about that point. Samson, I will pick out, and then it will be. Uh oh, I'm out of time. Liver, I, I have no clue. Okay, well, let's go down to let's go to DA and see what he has. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Indiana's head coach was saying to the team. He told them this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. You may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Oh, what a nice shot here for Levert. Terry Rozier deferred. Just got another foul on the Hornets. Point in pain. Picking up gas at that moment. Just trying to go back on the game here and get it done. Now Levert will shoot one shot at the free throw line. One shot left. Levert is going for one. Nice shot here for Levert. Now it has 
13 points. Doing well on the court, just fantastic. They're standing up again by Ambo with a dunk. Yep, he was wide open. Not quite enough to go from here. I, 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 I could have got a change on that one too. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, here's McConnell passing the summer. Three minutes to play. To Levert. Oh, jams it around the dunk in reverse. That was Levert picking up another dunking. He like he likes to finish it all on his guy. Levert has 15 points. Just only another timeout left for the Hornets before their one last timeout, and that'll be it. They stopped the clock at 2:43, and it looks like I yeah. Yeah, I also have out Lever. Uh, let's go ahead and bring back uh, Sabonis in. He'll be fine out there. Yeah, let's go back to man -to man Yeah, that'll be fine. And now let's let's see who is the player of the game presented by New Balance. And this one goes out to Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah, just enough to see that he was going to pick up a steal. I'm seeing that, that he's playing on the court without playing with uh, Victor Oladipo. That's more than what I was concerning. Love to play from here. I really enjoyed what he was going through. Now I got McCon Brogdon without Victor Oladipo because he now plays with the Rockets with John Wall. Sabonis making a, a stunning rebound again. That's more what I was officially going to say. Martin only got two, but he might need to get another one if he can. Summer, and, and, uh, and Sabonis, just a little bit short on the rebound. And we have a finish here on Graham. Second to last timeout will be the Pacers, 78 to 70. Well, they're coming back in anyway. Don't tell me why, because I will be very, very disappointing of you all. Yep, and then, uh, and, uh, let me get another one. This said stack will be the better idea for offense. Let's get it right. Back on the court. Here we go. New changing here. And so it's McConnell with it. McConnell with the ball. They're leading by eight. As to Summer. Summer. The dish to Martin. Martin. Someone picking the screen with Samson. Four on the shot. Moving up. Oh, shot was a little bit off. Good try on that point, but not just enough. Graham for three. Just hit the triple on the outside, and they're coming back. Just enough to go from here with McConnell. Sabonis running around. Avoiding a double man on D. Samson in the left. Got it. And they now they got another low post here. Samson has got four points so far. Finally got another two without picking up just only two. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, could have had that one. Hayward missed the three. Off the, that's, that's, that's the streak. It ends. Hayward, sorry. And it seems like Samson's going to pick up a screen. Samson, oh no, he didn't make it that time. Hornets are just coming back in again. Oh, good shot here for Graham. So it's the Pacers now. Samson just didn't want to help uh, Sabonis, but he, there's Sabonis with the two. Assist by Samson. Just 30 seconds. Brozier just made it in the paint. 
Only one timeout left. Last timeout called by the Pacers. And then if they make the shot, then it'll be the last timeout for the Hornets. They're up by five. So they're coming up by five at that point. Yep. I'm I'm serious right now. All right. Let's sub out McConnell. Let's bring Brogdon back in. And Samson will sub out. And yeah, just like I said, we're just bringing it back one by one. Not enough to go for a win. Winning streak. Summer on that end. I will bring Aaron Holiday back in. And then, uh, and of course, I will bring is uh, is um, is McDermott. He has to go back in that time. Yeah, on the fourth quarter. That's it. Some changes, for changes for Indiana so far. So it looks like that Graham has made his first personal foul. And now Sabonis will go to the line for two shots. Two on one with that time. Stop the clock at 26.3. Let's see if Sabonis can handle that one alone. So the first one falls for it. And it looks like the Pacers fans are just going out wild in season five without going to be without being crushed in season two after the Nets destroyed the Pacers. Last time out, gonna be on the Hornets. And then that'll be it. No timeouts remaining by those two teams. So that will be where where the game is spotted by then. 26 seconds left to go for the quarter, and it looks like I will go ahead and try to go for the series to play. I need to go for 21 delay series. Average here. Crash the offensive board. Yeah, series, that's all we need to know. Protect the perimeter. We want to make sure we get that right. We're in transition, but I need to uh, make that one right. All right, this is it. Last two teams in the first possession, Pacers and the Hornets. Last, last two, maybe. Brogier on the corner, spin move, drive. It's good. They're coming in with the cut. Now the foul's going on, Graham. Now Brogdon's going up for two shots by the one. 23 points, might go for 25. There's no time. Well, that's it. McCombden, McCombden, Brogdon, Malcolm Brogdon shot has lost his streak. Let's see what one shot is. Can he do it? Yep, only one so far for Brogdon, and that's 24 points. 20 seconds, second to last. Haywood for three. Oh, picked that one up, that right. Pass up to uh, Summer. Last to uh, final attempt. Foul's going on Grimm, his fur. 8.9 seconds to play on the court. Just enough to go for Summer to take two shots. Let's see what he can do. That's one. Let's see what the second shot is. If it's going to be 87. He makes it both. Thank you for watching for this presentation of the Pacers versus the Hornets. See you on the next game with the Jazz against the Wizards. And we will be back with another game next next week for this game. So with that being said, Graham, Graham takes his fourth personal foul, 3.1 seconds. That was the last possession for the Pacers. And then one last look for the Hornets. Close one coming. He makes the first. Brogdon with only one more. Might be 26. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on my social media, and like the video. 
No free throws are good. Last possession for the Hornets. Can they pick it up? They decide to not. They give it up, and the Pacers made a win, 89 to 85. What a play, fellas! And that was and that was Brogdon with the player of the game, presented by New Balance. Well, they needed that way. They couldn't able to pick it up after season three with a buzzing score to beat against the Bulls. So thanks for joining us. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA 2K21 dial. And we hope you see you on the next game. Good night, everyone, in Indiana. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.